कल प्रधानमंत्री जी ने पार्लियामेंट में दो घंटे शायद दो घंटे तेरह मिनट दो घंटे तेरह मिनट भाषण किया उसमें अंत में दो मिनट उन्होंने मणिपुर की बात की मणिपुर में महीनों से आग लगी हुई है लोग मारे जा रहे हैं बलात्कार हो रहा है बच्चों को मारा जा रहा है और अगर आपने देखा होगा कल तो प्रधानमंत्री हंस हंस के बोल रहे थे मुस्कुरा रहे थे जोक्स क्रैक कर रहे थे हंस रहे थे ये उनको शोभा नहीं देता है हिंदुस्तान का प्रधानमंत्री अगर इस देश में हिंसा हो रही है दर्द हो रहा है हिंदुस्तान के प्रधानमंत्री को दो हिंदुस्तान के प्रधानमंत्री को दो घंटे मजाक नहीं उड़ाना चाहिए विषय कांग्रेस नहीं था विषय मैं नहीं था विषय मणिपुर है मणिपुर में क्या हो रहा है और उसको एकदम क्यों नहीं रोका जा रहा है यह विषय है मैं आपको अपना एक्सपीरियंस देता हूं जो मैंने शायद अभी तक बोला नहीं शायद पहले बोल देना था आ, मैं अब तकरीबन 19 साल से राजनीति में हूं और मैं हर स्टेट में गया हूं बाढ़ आए तूफान आए सुनामी आई थी हिंसा होती है हम जाते हैं उन्नीस साल के एक्सपीरियंस में जो मैंने मणिपुर में देखा और सुना वो मैंने कभी पहले नहीं सुना था मैंने पार्लियामेंट में बोला कि प्रधानमंत्री जी ने अमित शाह जी ने भारत माता की हत्या की है मणिपुर में भारत को खत्म कर दिया है मैंने ऐसे नहीं बोला था ये खोखले शब्द नहीं है मैं आपको मैं आपको समझाता हूं मैंने ये बात बोली क्यों जब हम मणिपुर पहुंचे आ, हम लैंड किए हमें मणिपुर में दौरा करना था जब हम मेटे एरिया में गए हमारे हमें साफ कहा गया था कि अगर आपकी सिक्योरिटी डिटेल में कोई भी कुकी होगा उसको आप यहां मत लाइए क्योंकि हम उसको मार देंगे और जब हम कुकी के एरिया में गए हमें कहा गया अगर कोई मेथी आपकी सिक्योरिटी डिटेल में होगा उसको आप मत लाइए उसको हम गोली मार देंगे हम जब गए हमें मेथेज को परे करना पड़ा हमें कुकीज को परे करना पड़ा मतलब एक स्टेट नहीं है आज दो स्टेट हैं स्टेट की हत्या कर दी गई है और उसको चीर दिया गया है इसलिए मैंने बोला हिंदुस्तान की हत्या मणिपुर में बीजेपी ने कर दी है और जब मैंने कल प्रधानमंत्री को देखा हंसते हुए मजाक उड़ाते हुए मैं समझ नहीं पा रहा था कि हिंदुस्तान का प्रधानमंत्री इस प्रकार से कैसे बोल सकता है प्रधानमंत्री को यह पता नहीं लग रहा है कि हमारे देश में क्या हो रहा है छोड़िए नहीं जाना चाहते हैं उसके भी कारण है शायद मैं बता नहीं सकता हूं आपको उसके कारण है मगर अगर जा नहीं सकते हैं तो मणिपुर के बारे में बोले तो हिंदुस्तान की आर्मी आप सब जानते हो सेना को आप जानते हो जो मणिपुर में हो रहा है हिंदुस्तान की सेना उसको दो दिन में रोक सकती है तीन दिन नहीं लगेंगे अगर हिंदुस्तान की आर्मी को कहा गया कि यह तमाशा बंद करो दो दिन में यह तमाशा ड्रामा बंद हो जाएगा प्रधानमंत्री मणिपुर को जलाना चाहते हैं आग बुझाना नहीं चाहते हैं यह है सच्चाई 
अब आप अपने सवाल पूछिए वुड यू लाइक मी टू सेट इन इंग्लिश आई वॉच द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया येस्टरडे स्पीकिंग फॉर टू आवर्स laughing joking lagaving naraz in the parliament the prime minister would say one line and the entire bjp would shout another nara you know uh, the prime minister seems to have forgotten that the state of manipur is on fire and has been on fire for four months women and children are dying over there people are being murdered women are being molested are being raped and the prime minister of india is sitting in the middle of the parliament shamelessly laughing this is not about rahul gandhi this is not about the congress party this is not the, about the opposition this is about india it's about our country a state has been decimated it has been destroyed it does not exist anymore and it has happened because of the politics of the bjp divide and rule and burn that is why in my speech i said bharat mata has been murdered in manipur it's very interesting for the first time the words bharat mata have been expunged from the parliament it's an insult to those words whatever i said that is wrong i have said bharat mata which is an idea which is the idea of india where everybody lives peacefully harmoniously with affection has been killed in manipur it's a fact so the word itself now cannot be spoken by the people of india we cannot say bharat mata in parliament i want to tell you about my own personal experience of manipur i i have spoken to you about i spoke in parliament about the women i i met the pain i heard but i want to tell you why i said india has been murdered in manipur and i said it because manipur no longer exists as a state a state requires control a state requires authority that is disappeared in manipur it does not exist and i saw this with my own eyes when we went to manipur when we went to the meite area we were categorically told that please ensure we want you to come we love you but please ensure that if there are any cookies in your security detail they do not come into our area or we will shoot them when i went into the cookie area we were told the same thing we love you we want you to come but please make sure if there are any maytes in your security detail we will shoot them do not bring them here before going to the meite area we had to remove all cookies from our security detail before going to the cookie area we had to remove all meites from our security detail when we went there the security forces central security forces told us we have never seen anything like this we were told it is completely outside our control okay that is why i said manipur has been murdered by the bjp and the idea of india has been murdered by the bjp in manipur i was not speaking metaphorically i was speaking literally now the indian army it will take the indian army two days to put an end to the nonsense that is going on in manipur the prime minister refuses to stop the fire he wants manipur to burn he allows manipur to burn because if he did want it to stop there are tools at the hands of in the hands of the indian government that can stop it immediately i know i have full faith in our army i know and every indian citizen knows that if the indian army is told please put an end to this it will stop immediately there are reasons for the pm not being able to go to manipur i am aware of those reasons i don't want to say them publicly but there are clear reasons as to why the prime minister is not going there that is why we wanted the prime minister to speak in parliament that is why we wanted manipur to be on the agenda in parliament and what did the prime minister do 
he ridiculed the state he ridiculed the women of the state he laughed at the women of the state that's the truth finally i i just want to say one thing again in english see the prime minister when he becomes prime minister he ceases to be a politician he becomes the representative of the voice of this country his political the politics should be put aside and the prime minister should speak not as a petty politician as the leader of a political party but the prime minister should speak with the weight of the indian people behind him and it's tragic to watch mr narendra modi it's it's sad because the prime minister does not understand what he actually is he is our representative he is my representative he is all our representative and watching the prime minister spend 2 hours talking about the congress talking about the opposition you know making ridiculous remarks about the name this this really does not do justice to an indian prime minister i have seen prime ministers from the congress party i have seen prime ministers from the bjp i have seen mr vajpay i have seen mr dev gowda none of them have ever done this this is there's a there's a complete misunderstanding in the mind of narendra modi ji about what the prime minister of india is